Jesus' 12 disciples were important helpers to him during his ministry on earth. They traveled with him most of the places that he went, teaching and serving. Sometimes even preparing things ahead of time if needed. However, most of this time, the disciples believed that Jesus had come to get rid of the Roman rulers who were in charge at the time and set up God's kingdom right there in Israel. They didn't understand that instead, Jesus would first have to die, come back to life, and then go back to heaven for a while before God's kingdom would be all that God planned it to be. But Jesus kept teaching them, knowing that one day they would understand. In our story this week, Jesus is trying to teach his disciples more about what the kingdom of God is really like and how they can serve it. And as Jesus often did, he was trying to, when he was trying to teach something that was hard to understand, he told his disciples a story. Jesus said to them, a wealthy prince had to make a long journey to take care of some business in another land. He knew he would be gone a long time, and so he spoke to his three head servants. I am going on a long trip. I want you to look after all that I have while I'm gone. Then he spoke to each servant alone. To each servant, he gave bags containing talents of money. In Jesus's time, a talent was a measurement of money by weight. In fact, it was the largest measurement they used. So one talent was a large amount of money. When the prince spoke with the first servant, he gave him five whole talents of money to take care of along with managing the rest of the property. To the second servant, the prince gave two whole talents, and then one talent to the third servant. Then the prince left on his journey. When the prince asked these servants to take care of everything he owned and the talents he gave them, he expected them to handle all the resources exactly as he would have if he had still been at home. Well, the first servant did just that. He went out and used the money to earn five more talents of money. The second servant did the same thing, and he also increased his two talents to four talents. But the third servant didn't have the same confidence to use his talent well, and he may have even been a bit lazy. Either way, instead of trying to earn more money for the prince, he buried his one talent in the ground and left it alone. A long time went by, but the prince still didn't return. He was gone much longer than the servants had expected. Yet one day, when he was least expected, the prince did arrive back at his home. Right away, he met with his three servants to find out how they had cared for his property. The first servant told the prince all that he had done, proudly presenting the 10 talents of money he now had. Master, I worked hard investing your five talents and see, I have doubled your money. The prince was extremely pleased and promised a great reward to this faithful servant. The second servant also eagerly gave his account to the prince and displayed his four talents saying, I have also increased your money two times what you gave me. Just as pleased as before, the prince exclaimed, congratulations on work well done. I will give you a great reward also. Reluctantly, the last servant brought out the original one talent that he had recovered from its hiding place. He tried to explain saying, master, I was afraid that you would not approve of my actions and so I did nothing. Here is your talent of money back. But this attitude did make the prince upset. He spoke angrily to that servant saying, you did nothing with the money I entrusted to you. Couldn't you have even put it in the bank so that it could have earned even a little bit extra? The prince immediately ordered his guards to take the one talent and give it to the first servant who already had 10 talents. Then the prince banished the lazy servant from his presence and his land. 
Jesus told the par this parable to help his disciples understand that he would be going away, like the prince in the story, but that he would eventually come back too. He also wanted them to know that during that time, they needed to be using the resources that God was giving to them to serve him. Jesus has not yet come back. So as his followers, we also need to be using our talents to serve God. While we can use our money to serve God, today we often use the word talent to also mean skills and abilities that we have. Things we're good at doing, like singing or drawing or dancing or doing math or playing a sport. We can use our talents, whether money or abilities, to honor God. And then people will hear the good news of salvation and God's kingdom will be increased, just like the talents were increased in the story. So, on to the memory verse. This week, we are going to do some motions to help us memorize this verse. First, when we say the reference for the verse, we will put our fingers up for the numbers that we're saying. The verse is found in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 21. For Matthew 25, we'll put up two fingers for 20 and five for five. And then we, then two fingers for 20 and one for one. Matthew 25, 21. Then we will clap twice for the words, well done, and give a thumbs up when we say, good and faithful servant. Next, as we say, you have been faithful in a few things, we'll put our hand down to the ground like this. Then as we say the last words, I will put you in charge of many things, we'll lift our hands up high like this. Now, let's practice saying the verse a few times while doing the motions. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Let's say it again. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Another time. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. The third time. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Last time. Matthew 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Great job. 